YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Hannibal at the Gates, the Aravaki campaign. Now in the last part we didn't have any battles unfortunately, but we are now at war with the Oritani. We are looking to take Libisoa with this army, which we'll get there in a turn's time. And we are looking to take Kartuba with both of these armies, the Lusitani Terra and the champions of Ebora. So we'll do the end turn and we'll see how the Oritani react to this, uh, well, to this warfare that I'm waging against them. Now my aim in this campaign is to try to take Iberia first. And I'm trying to do it without being involved in any war with Carthage. I'm going to leave them to last. Animal husbandry. Okay, that's good. They haven't come out to attack me. I'm a bit concerned because it's minus 99, minus 1, so they're going to rebel in, a, in the next turn from Kartuba. But I can't see where the enemy is. I don't know where the Oratani are. So in that case, I'm going to march forward. Looks like we can besiege them. We can, and we can probably take them out as well. Now I'm going to continue the siege for the time being. And I'm going to take this army into normal stance. And we're going to get as far as we can. So we're just going to go to the edge by here as far as we can go now if I can take Kartu over this army this one by here the champions of Ebora I might take south all the way to the Gaetuli land over here Rotubis I'm thinking getting that land will be beneficial to me in the long run because Carthage of course has land all across here and across here if I had land down here I could hit them from both sides so that's what I'm thinking there and if I just come back up here to this army now, let's get a little bit of uh, rotation going. My God, look at that. So sexual. Right. <laughs> Getting too excited there. Right, let's bring this army and attack Libisoa. Now they're going to be wiped out in the next two battles. I'm going to fight this one first. So I will stop the recording here and I shall see you all on the battle map. Hello and welcome back. So I have arranged my missile troops in the first line and I've grouped them all up here in the second line I have all my Iberian spearmen in the third line I have my Iberian swordsmen and behind them I have my general and then over here on the right flank I have my three units of Iberian cavalry and just on the little hill behind them I have my artillery so we can start the battle and actually we're hidden oh no we're not we're not hidden first thing we're gonna do is bring my cavalry right up onto this mount up here I'm going to bring my skirmishers forward a little bit, not too much. Oops, let's try and keep them fairly straight. And we'll keep my. Just bring everything forward a little bit, not too much, but just enough to be happy with. So they have lots of missiles in the front. I'm hoping to try and crash into this flank over here. So what I'm thinking is that one of these cavalry units can march up to the top of the hill. And these two are going to go for a charge. Now my Ballista, for some reason, isn't in range yet. Now they are. Now they are. Excellent. Here we go. Oh my. Right. We missed. <laughs> I can see what they're doing here. Oh, I'm going to have to watch out my cavalry. Shit. Ren, hit the front line, you fools. Crash into the bring my cavalry around, let's cause mayhem, let's cause loads of mayhem, and we are, we are causing mayhem, and the uh, Iberian skirmishers are being de 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 decimated, I can't even speak, I'm so excited, <laughs> right, missiles, slingers, let's crash into them, they're going to bring the tribesmen in, so I want to disengage now, and we're going to crash into the tribesmen with this unit downhill charges are very effective and look at my ballista doing loads of damage still I want my ballista to actually focus on the center if possible oh my what's happened over here getting a bit excited not good for my health guys not good for my health let's get everyone out cavalry's done a grand old job to to completely mess this shit up let's get all the spearmen crashing in start engaging let's bring everything out now here we go, let's get them all in, come on, get in there guys. Break our ranks. Try and 
tribesmen still losing losing men, taking some casualties. I've got some of them on explosive round and I've got some of them then on the standard round, normal round. Oh, my general can come out as well. He wants to be involved in this. Charge! Kill them all! Get some frenzy charges going as well. Oh guys, what are you doing? Don't hit them, hit them. Slingers! Don't have a chance today. We've done a good job here. I'm pleased with this. It's very pleasing on the eye. Let's get all these guys to stop because they're going to kill some of my men if they don't. Frenzy charge into them all. Control A. Oh, I was going to click them, but they're gone. So there we go. Victory. End battle. Very easy win for us. Lost 332. And it was done in just over three minutes' time. Who had the most kills? Let's see. My cavalry did a good job. 175, 174, and 124. So the cavalry have got the most kills. Took out all these skirmishers. And then we just outnumbered them easily. So Libisoa is ours. And we shall occupy Libisoa. Thank you very much, Oritani. And Imperium has increased. We can now have six armies, two spies, two dignitaries, two champions, and three fleets. Excellent. So, Libisoa. We now own all of Celtiberia, I think. Yes, we do. So, we've completed the set. Excellent work. Very pleasing. So, what do we want to do? Can't actually upgrade anything. We can get a. We've got a cattle farm. We have a barbarian village and we have a bronze workshop. That's going to be good because I can get some Scutari spearmen. We're going to sit tight here and replenish with this army for the time being. And we're going to get some. I'm going to get some zeal for this uh, for this uh, this army. And let's see what we can we get next. I'm trying to get some civil stuff at the moment. So we got tier one of all construction. We got tier one of all tribal economy. So the last one is mint, and that will be. Two plus two percent tax rate enables the building of a mint. So we'll go for that for now, just to keep things tied over. And I want to take the rest of the Oritani land. So what do they own altogether? They own looks like they own two provinces down here. By the looks, I'm not quite sure. Or is it just that one and that one? Well, we'll find out now. So I'm um, besieging Kartuba. This army can go into force march, and it can reinforce me. And we're going to have another battle now, guys. Two battles in this part to make up for the last episode. So, I shall do what I did last time and see you all on the battle map. Okay, guys, welcome back to the battle map. So, I have all my skirmishers here grouped up. I have one of my ladders. Pathfinders played up a little bit, but my ladder is here ready to attack the gate here. All my artillery along the line, general behind them, and the rest of my ladders over here. So, without further ado, let's start the battle. And first things first, let's get the ladder... Where can we attack? Oh, the wall's over here, unfortunately. That's not a problem. We're going to get all of these to attack the wall by there. And we're going to break down the gates with these these units. I do have reinforcements. Uh, there they are, behind me. So we're all going to attack this one gate here, I think. We do outnumber the enemy. And I think we can probably bring our skirmishers forward as well. To the top of this mountain. And I'm going to manually control the ballista, try and get a few shots away and help out our brethren in this fight to wipe out the Oritani. Ooh, only just missed. That was a shame. Just over the top. Let's try and go for the wall but there, maybe. Don't know. Oh, that's terrible. My aim is quite off today. About there, maybe. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, and it looks like the gate's down. That's good. I'm going to continue to pepper the enemy now with my shots. Let's see, what damage are we looking at? So, the gate is 74% damaged. See, there's men behind we can take out as well. There's la loads of men up here which we're going to need to take down. But fortunately for me, my reinforcements are all over here. So let's get them all, let's get them to with little mount is up here, in 
get my artillery to hit their men. They, uh, yeah, those men over there. That's what I mean to say. So exciting again, tongue tied. Deadly missiles ready. Ballista. Let's see if we can. I wonder if we can take a pot shot. Let's take a pot shot. Is it, guys? Who knows? Oh, it's looking good. Oh, blood. Invisible blood. I love it. That was well worth the trouble. Try another one. Feeling quite confident. Deadly missiles! Oh, blood. Blood and guts. That was lovely. Right. We'll get our missiles to get some shots away. Get quick reload on. Our men are at the wall. Ballista. I'm just going to get my my uh, artillery to continue to pepper them. Where are my reinforcements? Oh, they've made it more or less. My artillery is taking forever, but we might not need them in the end. We've got so many men that we should be able to do this fairly simply, fairly easily. So let's just get to the walls. Oh, and the, they've glitched out over here. That is not good, guys. Let's try and get up there. Come on, do it, peeps. Selling us. Right then, let's get control of one of these ballistas. Try and take out a few more of them. Well, I will say about there. Looking good. Oh, just under. Why can't I do that earlier when there's a gate there? <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter because they are routing and they are gone. Now we've made it at the gates here. Oh my goodness gracious me. Right, we need to take them out. So let's get my ballistas to attack this unit of skirmishers. And I'll manually control one of them for the time being and try to take a pot shot or two against them through the tree. Oh, not, not too far away. A little bit to the left next time, I think. Uh, I would say about there. Oh, damn it. That's a shame. They're a bit more centralised now, so we might be able to, to do it. But anyway, we're up on the gates here, so I probably need to, to take this gatehouse, I think. Take this tower. So I don't get shot at all the time. Get my spearman up there. Iberian swords. I'm assuming that they've... I don't know where they are, actually. Bit confused. Anyway, I need my infantry. Let's get my infantry through the gates somehow. Uh, that more or less do through like so. Let's get the missiles through as well. They can come through while they go there. Taking the tower over here. This unit can now attack the Iberian skirmishers from the ladder. Now that we've got ladders up there, we can get everyone in. King in the north. The king in the north. <laughs> Just uh, casually start quoting Game of Thrones again. Right. Oh, where are you going? They're over there. The enemy's over there, you fools. And my infantry is slowly marching. My ballistas are both out of ammo, but we got all these enemies. Now I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to take all my reinforcements, I'm going to spend, put them into one group, and I'm going to attack all the bullshit with everything I have. Because that's how I roll. Right. Let's get the tower with this one as well. We've got, we already got the tower actually, but why not? Let's just make sure. And we got my... Cavalry. Cavalry isn't going to be too useful where I am, but we can get them in the building nonetheless. Through the gatehouse. Now if I can draw them out into here in the open, I can attack them from this side and this side with both these units. So let's do that. So let's put them grouped up there. Get slingers on the wall. We're going to hit them from two sides we are. Eventually. I'm going to fast forward this slightly guys, because it's slightly boring. There we go, it's just a little bit more. So they're just camping on their, their capture point. I would like to use some ballistas on them actually. But I don't think we're quite in range. What's the range like on this ballista unit? 
I think we're miles away. Yeah, we are. We're miles away. Oh, that's a shame. Such a shame. Frenzy charge. Kill them all. Just send everything in now. Attack the bullshit. This will wipe them out completely. Oh, look at it. Look at them. <laughs> oh. This reminds me of Noah's Ark. Two of everything. <laughs> the animals went in by two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. Take the Aretani to town. Send everything in. If they're gonna camp, this is what you get for camping. Stupid, stupid, stupid AI. Right. Scootari! Don't stand a chance. Uh, let's get some militia. We're gonna get them around this side. Like so, they're gonna be jammed, packed right into into there. Let's get our special abilities going. Yeah, this is beautiful. Fly like an eagle. Fast forward. Might just fast forward the rest of this battle because it'll be easier to show. I would zoom in, but I'm, there's so many units on the screen that I'd be a bit scared for lagging, so I'll just keep it like it is for now. Let's get the old special abilities going. Here we go. Ah, they're dying. They're all dying. Don't understand the chance. The general is down to 122. Just <laughs> select everything. Charge, kill them, there we go. Victory! Easy. End battle. So we lost 503 out of 4360. I brought more than enough men and it was worth it. So battle duration was 9 minutes 5. Who had the most kills? Looks like my cavalry perhaps? Didn't quite see it. I think it's my cavalry. But huzzah! Ooh, slash to the shoulder blade. Blood come out of the stomach. Kartuba is ours and we shall occupy. Increase in rank and population happiness has gone right down, so excellent. So we now own Kartuba as well. My army can replenish and this army can just sit tight for the time being. My spy is now going to go to the south because I want to take some th southern lands which are owned by Carthage. Now I'm going to have to be very careful about this. Oh, who's this? Oh, we have more Aritani. But they're not going to trouble us, only seven of them, and they are suffering attrition. So before we end this episode, let's just have a quick look. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look how red Iberia is. We've taken most of it, but we're going to have to fight Carthage sooner or later. But I think I'm probably going to take the one army I have here down to take this, this first before I do wage war with Carthage. Because I can hit them then from this side and that side. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time. Goodbye.